Hey again, Richard. Thought I'd do a quick video on how to change those settings to make your pendant work the way you want. I've got this pendant, it's slightly different, it's in a slightly older model, doesn't have the A plus and minus A keys down here, but I'm assuming the rest of it's the same. And we can set it up as you wanted, and I'll show you one other trick as well you can do with it that I have set up on mine. Uh, we're going to make this a quick video because I'm just out here in the workshop freezing my CNC nuts off at the moment. So uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. It won't take us very long to do it all. I'm going to apologise in advance. I'm just taking a quick screenshot off this laptop here because I can't do screen capture from it. I will redo this video at a later date and uh, capture it from another laptop, make it much better. But for the purposes of this demonstration, it should be good. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to your Mac 3 folder on the uh, drive and just click your screen set, which will be this one here, in my case 1024, and, uh, and just make a copy of it in case you screw it up royally. You can always delete the uh, one you've been screwing around with and uh, just replace it. So I'm just going to open Mac 3, and uh, I've changed my screen set to the standard 1024 set that comes with Mac 3, as I'm assuming that's the one you're running. And uh, I'm assuming you also know about this one here, the config, the system hotkeys, just clicking on the uh, what hotkey you want to uh, program, and then just pushing the button on your on the temp on the uh, pendant that you want to program up so uh, that's pretty good now none of the rest of the keys actually work on this thing here the uh, if I push the uh, tab key uh, you can see just the jog keys just do the standard 5% uh, change uh, the single step key which I've got on mine which is useless uh, does nothing, but we're going to make it change between continuous and single step. Uh, and the spindle up does nothing for me either. It doesn't zero anything. So if I quickly move my axis and I push the spe speed up key, it doesn't zero them. So let's close this down and see if we can change that. I've started by downloading this program here called Mac 3 Screen. And I double click and open it. And I go file, open. I need to look for my Mac 3 directory. And I'm going to open the 1024 set that I'm currently using on my machine. It's not a screen set I usually use, but it's probably a common one that other people do use. So, and as you can see, it opens a bit of a jumble here. And here's the first page. I'm just going to click and drag this toolbar out of the way and uh, so this is page one, this is page two and so on, page three of Mac 3 if you look far enough you'll see all the different pages that Mac 3 has so the one we're interested in is page 50 page 50 is always the pendant file of the ones I've seen anyway so let's start with our slow jog. Double click on this one here, the jog speed one. Just double click on it, it opens this page here. Set hot key, and I'm going to push the jog down button, the J minus. Let's put a code in there. Now we need to come here and select execute Visual Basic file, or Visual Basic script, and we need to enter a script. And it's quite a simple one, capital S, small e, small t, capital O, E, M, D, R, O, space 3, comma, and you wanted a 10% speed. Click OK. It's warning us we haven't selected OEM here. That's OK. Double click on the jog rate up button. Select hotkey, this time jog plus. Again, we need to enter a script, capital S, small e, small t, capital O, E, M, D, R, O, space 3, comma, 100, for 100%. Click Execute Visual Basic Script, go OK. 
Right, we'll quickly save that before anything goes wrong. And now we're going to click the jog mode. Now, as I said, mine has a key on here labeled single step. What it actually does, it ex executes a single step of G code, and uh, that's it. But I'm not really interested in that. Uh, I'm going to click the jog mode button here. Sorry. Double click the jog mode button and just set hotkey. And I'm going to push the single step button and go OK. So now it reassigns what that single step button on mine does. It will now change between continuous and single step when it comes to setting the position of a cutter. I find it really, really useful. So, last but not least, the other one is the reference all to home. And we've got a reference all to home key here on our first screen. So I'm going to just double click on there and I'm just going to go set hot key and I'm going to set the uh, speed up button which you wanted and go OK. Now one thing to note is speed up the pendant, or at least mine does, actually works for the spindle speed. So I'm just going to double click on the speed up button for single speed and just set that code to zero so that there's uh, no mistake going on there. We can go to screen two and here we are, reference all home. Double click on there, again set hotkey, speed up, go OK. And down here we've got our spindle speed set. Set that to zero. And we just need to go through each page looking for that key. Reference all home. Set hot key. Speed up. Okay, of course if you only use one screen generally then you don't need to really worry about it. If you're using more than one screen at a time, you might want to go through and set them all, but it's really up to you. So, let's see how this works. I'm going to quickly save this and close it down. We can now open Hybrid. Uh, the icon for Hybrid is actually Mac 3 on my machine and we'll see how these keys work for us. Right, so it's opened our screen set here. Let's start by jogging the machine. So I've got all our set there, so if I push the speed up button they all set to zero. Let's go to the tab key, that brings out our MPG here. If I push the single step, we'll see it changes from continuous to single step. And now if I push the jog up, it changes to 100%. If I push the jog down, it goes to 10%. And it doesn't matter how many times you push it now, it doesn't toggle through those 5% settings. Just up and down, 100%, 10%. Let's see how the machine works. So I'm just going to try my speed to start with. There's my x-axis. And now I'm just going to go jog minus. And now we're running at 10%, jog plus, full speed. I'm going to push the single set button, and you can hear it clicking. It's only moving a single step, push the single step button again, and we're move back to moving full speed. Well, there you have it. It is really simple when you know how, uh, but uh, if you try and adjust those settings from within Mac 3, you're wasting your time, it'll just never work. Take a quick backup of that 1024 screen set or whatever screen set does you use because if you don't, you'll find that uh, you may well cock it up and need to redo it. So other than that, give it a try. See how you get on.